Okay. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to another movie review. Movie. This, we're just becoming movie critics. I think that's our new thing. Or just professional movie goers. At this yeah. Point. <laughs> what can we say? We're just very good at it. So we just saw Suicide Squad, which is, I think, the second installment. Yeah. Um, the first one was trash. I, hot garbage. I've never seen. Oh my god, the first it was one. fucking. Was it as awful. crazy as this one? As well, far as like. No. Yeah, no. Okay. Okay, we have a lot of things to say. I have a lot to say. Okay. Here's what I'll start with. Hold on, let me look up the cast really quick. Okay. While you do that, we just took advantage of this. Vibe. Okay, tell them what we did tonight. Yeah. Well, we just decided that since it was Tuesday. Um, there's a lot of places that do like dollar tacos and things like that. So we just decided that we would not stay in tonight and then take our little masky boys with us. We wore our masks. We yeah. wore our masks. We're good but humans. We're now in the car chilling. So um, we decided to go have some tacos, have some modelos. I had a michelada. A michelada with modelo in it. Mm-hmm. Modelo time. Modelo time all the time. <laughs> And then we did the five dollar movie night. Yeah, which so, is a really good deal. Yeah, it was the, cheap. Yeah, it it's was like thirteen bucks. Yeah, so I guess it's six dollars right now. But yeah, yeah. it's fun. Pretty cheap just to go see. Ten out of ten on the date night. I'll give it four and a half modelos out of five. <laughs> four and a half <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but. As for the movie, okay, do you want to just give, like, initial thoughts? Like, regardless of everything, as a movie, as entertainment, what do you give it? Like, what do you think? Would you recommend it? I I would recommend it for most people. Yeah. I would just definitely have to give a warning of, like, there's, like, Major a, lot violence. Of, a, lot of, a lot of violence. A lot of, like, body horror, like, gore. Yeah. It's almost like, it's like fucking like, what do they call that? Like, it's like a fetish. It's like, I don't know, like what, there's like a name for it, but it's like whenever I, you like get off to like gore. So. so overall, I would say it's a pretty entertaining movie. I think for 13 bucks, it's like definitely a go. It was, yeah. If I you don't, can definitely see it for like the $5 movie night or if your theaters have like anything close to that. If you are squeamish or don't like violence don't go see this movie yeah um also i wouldn't say it's like super like superhero-y like i wouldn't say i got the vibe that it was like no that was, type of movie it's I, really not i honestly just straight up initial i thought it was hilarious i thought there was a lot mm -hmm. of like it's pretty like dark humor really, like irreverent yeah i guess there's a lot of a lot of little things that the add up, like, I mean, yeah. it is, it is kind of. We do of get twisted. into like a, a bunch of like dark humor, which I can appreciate. I think most millennials can. Yeah. Um, I'll even just... though we're lazy pieces of garbage. <laughs> okay. Do you want to get into spoilers? Um, or do you want to? The get... one thing I will say is they do the thing that they did in um, The Hunt, where you can't tell who the protagonist is until like. You know, a quarter of the way into the film, I thought we knew who the main character was, and then they just switch it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just a nobody's kind of like off limits thing, you know? What I mean? Yeah. I mean, obviously, if you guys like, haven't seen The Hunt, please watch that movie. We yeah, love that. Yeah, highly film. recommend The Hunt. Uh, also, kind of a Gory. lot of gore. Yeah. Um, it gave me like a similar vibe to that movie. It did, and I think that's why I liked it so much because we we have seen The Hunt. Yeah, we really liked it, and we both. It's like political. The one? Hunt. Oh yeah, I was like. No, I did, mean, I do think that this one is though. Yeah, I mean a little bit. Like, how did you feel about it being like bilingual? <laughs> <laughs> were you reading the subtitles yeah and no, I, was, I was just listening <laughs> but um i do i do appreciate that there is a little more involvement would you in, say that the subtitles were accurate they were pretty close yeah a lot of those were pretty close <laughs> i was um, reading them and i was like is this even what they're saying <laughs> yeah no they were pretty close um it, overall, I think it's a go. Um, if unless you don't like gore, if you're pretty squeamish, I would say maybe not. But um, I think it is a really fun movie for even with the gore and all this stuff too. 
uh, and we both said like going into it, we're like, we didn't really have any our expectations are just rock bottom. I mean, they, we, it was way better than the first one. I would say if you saw the first one and you didn't like it, give this one a try. But I want to go into like specifics. Okay, yeah. So I one thing I will say is a lot to say going into it. First of all, it had some guy from like Vine, that like German guy from Vine. He was like the javelin guy. Um, and I immediately recognized him and I was like, that's really what? annoying. Did you get his name? Right yeah, there? Pete Davidson um, oh, is like one of the first characters in the film. And I was like, holy hell, I didn't know that like Pete Davidson was in this. Like, be it. he's like every like girl my age is like crush basically because <laughs> he's like on snl and like kind of an asshole but um and it had okay first of all that little like weasel thing is gonna haunt me that, forever low key that weasel is one of the most terrifying looking things I've horrifying ever seen. it has like the eyeballs it's that are like, like bulging out it is honestly what nightmares are made of it's pretty bad um horrifying it was i thought it was hilarious just like how they pretty What'd much introduced think? and got rid of them yeah <laughs> but, it's funny like you can't swim yeah oh, well. but then I the mean, very yeah, end really, literally i'm gonna have nightmares about that it's pretty scary yeah um what would you say like describe to me what you thought of like the initial superheroes or then the initial like suicide squad that they show um again like i haven't watched any of the first ones i don't know if it, it's, doesn't like, any, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter, matter. um I kind of had the feeling that the show was going to go bad, but I didn't. Basically, what I would say is Idris Elba kind of takes the place of Will Smith from the last movie. So they kind of just, like, make a new leader and a new squad. Mm. It has literally nothing, other, other than, like, Harley Quinn. Mm. It literally has nothing to do with the first film. Oh, and that, um, the lady who's, like, the evil one that's, like, like demolishing them, or, like, blowing up their oh, heads yeah, and shit. Oh, yeah, the commander first yeah. time ever. Um, her... And Harley Quinn are the only ones that were in the first one. One thing I will say is I kind of miss, like, the Joker in this one. Like, I love Harley Quinn as a character. And, like, obviously Margot Robbie is, like, hot as hell. Yeah. Wood bang. <laughs> I... Dude. She can, like, do no wrong. Ever since she was in Wolf of Wall Street, I'm like, you can have me. <laughs> <laughs> but she did great here. Like, obviously, she has it fucking down. I mean, she's done you know the first suicide squad and she had her own movie birds of prey or whatever mm. which i actually really liked that film i need to see, I need to see all of yeah those really. we need to watch that one soon but she definitely has like the stunts down i feel like you can't tell when she has a stunt double okay i do have one critique about about her in particular is like the flower scene i loved that whole scene but that's the only time that they used that kind of cgi or that mm. type of like visual element and it kind of stuck out to me like why like why didn't they use that more often was that just a one i don't understand why yeah i don't, I don't i mean i thought it was thought beautiful it, but it was really cool but though. no yeah i'm not saying it wasn't cool either. but like i'm it just was the only time that they used that so i was like what does this mean anything like are they just pulling it out of their ass i just didn't know if she was just like that's like her like rage mind like to disassociate yeah. or something i guess like, if they were gonna do that i would just want to see like a pattern of that because it just felt like out of place or like hmm. i don't know but i like that as a concept like the whole like yeah, it was, psycho it was like cool. i don't know she's just she does really well of like doing that like the opposite of like a damsel in distress which i really like like she doesn't need anybody to come save her like she, yeah, she you know escaped by herself handled it on her own. her crushing that guy in her thighs that's the way anyone I'm really wet. Would, I, I mean, <laughs> are you wet it's the way i would want to go if if i can die in I your mean, thighs and... <laughs> your wishes my command baby to... <laughs> <laughs> i'd take Harley Quinn, i guess yeah um it just hope i liked his character i mean i thought i thought is i mean obviously i think he's a freaking amazing yeah actor, he is really good but i really think he crushes like role it's just like you he know, had, like, overall, all of, like, like, the weapons coming off of his suit, which I thought was really cool. I haven't really seen a character like that in any of these type of films, mm. you know? He just always grabs weapons, like, off of his armor, which is, like, kind of cool. What do you think of John Cena? I, is he? John, John, John Cena! Cena's, John Cena has grown on me so much. First of all, he looks like an adult baby. He, I'm, I'm not trying he just to hate like him. He's a big baby. I love John Cena, but yeah, he, I feel like he's short he in real life. He looks 
He looks because weird. He looks stumpy. He reminds you of, yeah, I don't know. He's swole as fuck. He's, yeah, he's huge. Yeah, I think he's... There were a few times I was like, is that actually how, like, wide he... He looks, like, scary. Yeah, his arms are, like... Like, this wide. <laughs> like, our fucking body. I'm like, hello? <laughs> yeah, he's pretty swole. I, I, what do you think about I've his character? Grown on, or he's grown on me a lot, like, from, like... Like, outside from, of the... From wrestling to acting. Yeah. Like, I think he's gotten, like, really good. And um, I like this character. I thought it was... Yeah, you know, I thought he played it pretty well. I thought it, like. What do you think like, about his like toilet seat thing? The what? The toilet seat. That's what Idris Elba kept making fun of his costume. Oh. The little like silver thing. Yeah, I think. The I, peacemaker. It was kind of dorky, but that gives me like. Okay, know. you know what he reminded me of? Like Barnacle Boy. <laughs> I. That's all. Like, what's the other character in SpongeBob? Mermaid Man. Yes. Him too. That's all I could think about. His, like, outfit was that exact outfit. Hello? Did anybody else? I cannot be the only one. Also, there was, like, an underwater theme anyway. Like, the starfish yeah. shit. I was like, am I, I tripping? I guess now you mentioned a mermaid man. Does, I think he looks does exactly, have, like, a star. He like looks that. exactly like that. Uh, hold on. Referencing? Mermaid man meme. He does have a Dude, starfish look. on his face. I'm just saying. So it looks like they might I'm have just stolen saying. some original ideas from the SpongeBob name. Yeah. What do you think about the shark guy? I mean, I I think obviously the shark guy was in there for like comedic relief. Don't you feel like they're trying so to like rip off like Groot? Yeah, I mean, yeah. but I feel like it's been like that for a while. They they, they have, have they to always find have like some, a non-human. Yeah, they can't character. they can't rag on a human because then it's like too personal. So they just take like inanimate objects or like animals and just like use that um, yeah it, i i liked the shark for the most part yeah. but it, i mean it was obviously like i think the comedic timing moments of the shark were were, were i thought they were there I, I think his overall like purpose and stuff maybe wasn't like as important because they were like oh yeah like you need this guy to like break into this thing or whatever and then, like, the whole time they were there, felt like didn't really, really didn't need him at all. Yeah, I agree. Um, rat crawl was fucking disgusting. Um, all of those rats, like, swarming the city, they're locked in my brain now. I fucking can't. Also, her puncturing his eyeball, I will there never was, forget. There was a lot of... The textures of the rats running through his, like, eye veins disgusting i it was really i would go though. my entire life without seeing that shit that's fucking disgusting yeah it was pretty gross but i don't know maybe we're just being sensitive no we're not you... that is so gross that's the grossest shit you know how many people have like eye phobias and rat phobias they knew what the fuck they were doing they're like let's make a bunch of rats go in a giant eyeball yeah that's kind of crazy hello that is like nightmare fuel anyway um it was poetic seeing her like swim in that like yeah, I mean she's stunning doing then, anything. Like, yeah, even being they're torturing surrounded. her, even and we're like, she's so hot. Around like rats swimming and uh, yeah, yeah, and a giant eyeball hot. looking. <laughs> um, um, what are the other characters? The this oh guy. polka dot guy. Why? Oh. Yeah, the polka dot guy. What did you think about his mom? situation I, unless if someone knows something about this like, please feel free to like enlighten us because i just didn't get the whole like polka dot mom thing or whatever like i get it like you know some if someone just came up with that like i you know his sure issues. has mommy issues like, but it was just really weird i feel like it was just way out of left field mm -hmm. unless unless we're missing something or there's like an actual polka dot character. I mean, I'm sure he was like in a comic. Story. He has to be in a comic somewhere. Yeah. I don't if think not, they just I pulled don't... it out of their ass. I don't really care too much for him, but um, um, I did think his little polka dot powers were pretty popping. Yeah. And then there's the um, like Rick Flag or whatever. Yeah. And I he's he, like the colonel. Yeah. I thought guy. it was just cool. Um, I, I really did. They should. Sure? They showed him like dying, like his internal organs. Yeah, that, that was, was kinda, gross. That's kind of rough. 
disgusting. Well, it was actually really cool. I I don't know if it's CGI or whatever, but like I really enjoyed like the special effects like in this movie. Yeah, there was a they lot. Because they were pretty pretty graphic. A lot. Uh, yeah, his insides. I I was like, oh, that's what would happen if your heart got like punctured. Like that's so cool. There are so many times. It's really interesting. Where they like just rip people apart. Literally, yes. like, or slice people, like, through their head, or, like, there was a lot of, like, head trauma. Yeah, a lot of eye, like, you're right, there was a lot of eye, like, there's one point this guy's just, like, looking down, and he's just, like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, there was a lot of, like, head injuries <laughs> that were pretty brutal. Yeah, we were, the people next to us, oh. I'm pretty sure, had to leave, yeah, because they had, they kids had a kid with them. And I don't, they showed a dick full on, too. Yeah. Why did that they was, need to show a That dick? was pretty random. And I thought they were going to show more than one if they were actually going to do that. Like, just, why would you just show one dick? It just seemed, uh, I don't know. I'm sure they were like, hey. They showed like one pair of titties too. Somebody needs to show their dick and the guy's like, I'll do it. I mean, do your thing. Know. And they showed, okay, they showed I will a say, titty because she like half yeah. covered. Yeah, So the, you get one the, titty and a full on male genitalia. So. Yeah. I don't know if there they're equivalent. Go. Um the to... the bad guy his head had these like things in it and you know what they reminded me of like you know the big vapes <laughs> it's like the top of the big like you know like the big ones yeah, like a mac it looked like a bunch of those just stuck in his head i that's every time i saw him on screen i was like yeah. vape man i feel like there's a kid there's a kitsch like movie or something that is it mastermind or something i don't know there's a villain like that or something mm-hmm. but I don't know. I I didn't really care one he way or another. He didn't really do him. anything. Yeah, he's just like, this is what we've been working on. Also, we didn't know time. anything about him as a character, like his backstory or anything. And you said the other movies like aren't relevant like, to any of this? Not at all. Okay, well. Other than that, just like the lead lady who's like, you guys are going to do what I say. Or else. Yeah. I guess that's like mainly my thoughts. Just Harley Quinn is hot and <laughs> it's really violent and that's about it. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was pretty entertaining. I really wish I had my two-toned hair because she has like the red and the black. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> Got rid of it just before this. But yeah. Back to ball. Um, it was, I don't know. It was cool. I, it really helped. You're going to give weed. it an overall score. It really helped that we went in with like no expectation. No. I think every time we do that, I feel like we've done like walked out pretty satisfied. We walk out pretty happy. Um, out of five or ten, I don't remember if we've rated out of out of five. Anybody. Give it a what's what's gonna be your scoring scale? Should be something clever. It's gonna okay. Be, do you want me to do it? Yeah, you go first. <laughs> I'm going to give it three and a half starfish out of five. Three and a half starfish. How about you? Um, just to be different, I'm going to give it 3.7 starfishes out of five. Starfishes. Mm-hmm. Okay, the little, like, barnacles on the starfish really fucking gross me out. That like, a little, pretty... like, welty looking. Yeah. But... And also, there was, like, a part that looked like a fucking vagina. <laughs> There was one part that I was like, are they serious? That looks like the, a fucking the pussy. Legs, the legs never like it screeched opens. and it's like, like opens like this. I'm like, that's a fucking pussy. Hello. <laughs> the rats. Yeah. So like she said, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of, if you have issues with like textures and things like that, there's a lot of yeah. really gross textures. Yeah, if things. you have like trypophobia or any of that shit like you're gonna fucking hate this movie yeah there's they like make it so detailed and like hot like you just can't look away from it yeah the rats they too like, there's I a mean... bunch of like sudden violence that like you know sometimes you can like feel it coming and you're like oh, i'm not gonna want like they're about to cut this guy <laughs> but some of them like come out of nowhere and you just see the whole thing yeah it's and that's what i, I mean yeah, it's, like, gross and stuff, but, like, that's what I did like about it, and the hunt was just, just like, it, it caught me off guard, because mm-hmm. I spent a lot of time, like, Very trying to look for jump scares, or just, like, surprise twist scenes, and in movies like those two that we've mentioned, like that one and this one, there's just some that you're just like, oh, oh. What did you think okay. about the title sequences, where they would, like, put it in elements of the film? 
I don't know about you because you're more of like creative I and mean, artistic. I want your opinion. But I thought that was awesome. I thought it was cool. Okay, okay. I'm I thought it too. sometimes it was like a little. I think they did it a few <laughs> too many times. You know, they jump around in the timeline, which I don't mind, but it's like three days ago eight minutes ago now it's like okay like yeah. i feel like it was a little spoon fed which we fucking hate we yeah, hate when they're like oh you can't tell what time it is like yeah we know that the starfish is like out now we can see him like i don't feel like they needed to say like now like we're not fucking now stupid it just reminds me i wish we would have done a fucking video about escape room we went and saw escape room oh, we didn't we, we didn't, didn't. Oh. but the, a little okay tiny rant i will put a like a thing here snap Spoiler your fingers spiral. so i can beautiful stunning <laughs> um they put a recap at the beginning of escape room like previously on like it was like escape. like we had just seen an episode from last week it was a fucking psycho. What the, f what the hell was that? Anyway, I really did like that film. A lot of people harped on it for being awful. I thought it was really entertaining, but I like it as a concept. Yeah, but like the that. recap, nix that shit next time. That is fucking awful. I'm curious to see what they're gonna do with the whole series here in a second. And I don't know how. I don't know how many more suicide squads or what the hell they're gonna do with that but i feel like they can do whatever they want because they're, they're like um they anthology keep, like they're not yeah they just keep you like, don't have to no. it's like not a sequence this one was so much better than the first one well, i will say i just realized we didn't comment on rat girl how do you feel about rat girl i mean we kind of did oh um first of all she's stunning she's like beautiful you know she has like that like like caramel skin but like blue eyes which we're hoping that our children look like that but like that's a whole other story um i thought she was really beautiful i actually thought her like what like the Little thing that she uses thing. is really cool it reminded me of like toys as kids like we had like these like weird spinny things you yes know? we did it like a little stick with yeah. a ball and you like and it like push rotates. the button and it was like, the faster it would spin like the little yeah. lights would go it looked yes. exactly like that um i, I like i will say she's the only character that they gave backstory to like other characters you got a little bit of context like with it'll just what, what blood what's his name blood blood sport um it's like blood gang but <laughs> gang, gang. gang gang um they gave like a little bit of context like with his daughter but the like frat girl was the only one that they actually showed her like father and like gave some sort of, of flashback yeah. so like just like with the one scene with harley quinn it's like there's certain elements that i loved but because they only happened one time i'm like it doesn't seem intentional it feels like it was just like an afterthought or something like that mm um because if they would have done like while they were in the bus and they gave the backstory of her they would have gone to every character and done like a little bit of something you know how they just showed it in the, like mm -hmm. the window there's like a pass just like a simple like which i thought scene. that was cool no i loved way. that they, i actually loved her backstory and, like, as a whole the background's just like changing and as she's talking i thought that was really mm -hmm. cool um like i said it's like clever ways of like giving context without like spoon feeding it to the audience previously on yeah or like suicide. 18 years ago <laughs> her father it's like we we can like pick up on things but no i actually really liked her character the rats all collecting in one space horrifying um absolutely not i think Other than that, i just think that whenever you have so many like big name actors mm -hmm. it is kind of hard to like Mm -hmm. i'm sh i don't i don't know shit about shit but maybe like budget yeah. wise it's hard to like oh let's give this person a little bit more time and it's like oh shit i'm like three million dollars out oh little betrayals. king shark was sylvester stallone oh i did not realize that i saw his name at the beginning but i did not even realize that that was him what did you think about them going in and killing all the people that they didn't even mean to kill that's what that's what i've been i kept forgetting that's what i wanted to mention earlier i thought that was absolutely hilarious just the, that was one twist that i think i was just like well played like yeah they're just like silently killing like dozens of people it would just happen to be like the people that were supposed to be on their side yeah I yeah which that. is just kind of like sadly accurate it's, probably it's a little too hit a little too close yeah, to home yeah but. there was like a few times that i was like ouch like yikes because like i don't know 
Like America's actually done shit like that, so it's like, oh, we're making, do that we're making all the time. it, we're making it into like they a, do that all the time, into Look like a hero, any South American movie. country. Yeah, it's like yeah, great. <laughs> then this whole starfish thing just seemed a little kind of far fetched for me. But it was I mean, trippy. If we would have done like acid, which horrifying. we don't do or condone anyone doing. No. <laughs> but yeah, that's that is a little. It was trippy. It was trippy. It was a little hard to kind of be like how are they gonna deal with this since mm-hmm. it's not like a villain you know it's not like batman or something that yeah. they're like fighting but um i don't know overall yeah we thought liked it was it. pretty good let us know what you guys thought down below thanks for the date night it was fun it was fun <laughs> we'll have to i don't know we, i like doing these yeah i don't know if anybody else likes to do this but <laughs> thanks for watching we will see you guys oh in the next one. I guess that's a sign we should end this. (laughs) And cut. Bye. (laughs) I'm worried that you're... No, my keys are right. So it just turned off by itself.